Enough data has been collected. Begin the analysis process. It's finally time, Heartless. Hey, wait a second. You still haven't told us what you're going to do with Mega Man's data. You should watch how you talk to Mr. King Jack. After all, he is the leader of this organization. Don't mind him, Heartless. He never listens anyway. Isn't that right, son? Hahaha, <laughs> you'll soon find out what I will do with the data. Can you handle the weight? <laughs> Man! Queen Tia. Are you listening? Yes. Is there something you need? Jack has seemed a little strange ever since the last incident at Alohaha Castle. He's been much more mild-tempered mild than usual. Is there a problem? Not that I know of. We're both fine, but I see no reason to hear from you every time we do feel down. I see. There's no problem then. There's no problem then. Who does he think he is? Hey Tia, Chuck has been acting kind of strange lately, hasn't he? How dare he act like that when he's the newest member in the organization? If he upsets Corvus one more time, I don't know what will happen. Tia, ha ha ha. So, both of them. They've been like this since Luna. I see. Hey. What is it, bud? Prez is really gone, isn't she? I'll never hear her yell at me when I'm late ever again. Late, late, late! You're late! You've got guts to make me wait for you. Zack! Make sure Bud isn't late next time. Can you do that? Don't you dare talk back. You guys are friends, so you're partially responsible. Do you guys understand? If you make me wait just one more time... Press. What happened? <laughs> but Bud, Zach, why are you crying? Luna can't really be gone for good. There's just, there's just no way. It's not. It's not. <laughs> Sonia. But Zach. Do you really believe that Prez is gone? I'm not giving up. I refuse to believe that she's gone. G Geo. But, but Geo, you saw it, right? Right in front of you. But Prez. It, it's so terrible. That's right, Geo. I mean, Mega Man. Why couldn't you save her? You've never let us down before, so why? Why couldn't you save her this time? <laughs> Zack, you little- are you blaming Geo? What's wrong with you? Do you know how much he's- It's fine, Mega. It's fine. It's true that I couldn't do anything. But that's exactly why. That's why I'm not giving up. But, Zack, look at your hunters. Press data signature isn't completely gone. Our brother bands, team, and purpose hasn't been affected either. Th that means that 
Mine is the same too. That's proof that she isn't gone yet, isn't it? That's right. Geo is right. Luna isn't really gone. And I'm give not giving up either. There's no way that I'm giving up. S Sonya. B but Zack. We want to believe what Geo is saying too. B but. Zack. Zack, bud, you can't give up. We give up. Then she'll definitely disappear. For good. For crying out loud! You're a bunch of depressing crybabies. Bud and Zack have no friends for much longer than Sonya and I. So they've been hit harder by the news. They're doing the best they can. Hmm. <laughs> so then what are you going to do? Do you have a plan? Actually, I do. I was thinking we can ask the Satala police, or rather... Ace to help us. But I don't know how to get a hold of him. Hmm. That means we need to ask someone who does know how. That's a great idea. Thanks, Mega. So do you know who sh we should ask? Yeah. Mr. Boreal. Remember he used to work at NASA. Ah, Boreal, huh? You can probably figure something out. What happened to Luna too? Good point. There's no doubt he'll be able to figure something out. Then it's settled. Yeah, let's go see Mr. Boreal. Hey everybody, it's Giannis Mumberto here bringing you the awesomeness as always. But last episode's ending wasn't awesome. Uh, last episode we lost Luna. That was pretty emotional cutscene. And... To add on to this, I'm I'm sorry that there's been like 25-30 minute episodes. This game would be definitely a lot more parts if I were to kept it at 15 minutes and I would have to cut it off um, during cutscenes. So I hope you guys understand, you know, I'd rather keep it like a 25 part let's play because cutting out all the putting in all the cutscenes in all one video rather than splitting up cutscenes and able to only progress the storyline very little. I uh, just want to say thanks for that. So anyway, as you can see, Nuna's brother band is still there. Purpose and team hasn't changed either, so that was definitely a trip to remember, so Purpose fulfilled. So that means we need to... It being... So you gotta wait a minute. So, we have to find Mr. Boreal. Okay, we gotta ask her mom. Completely forgot. Since I kinda, kinda already know where he is, and it's obvious to you. But, uh, hey mom! Aaron? Come to think of it, I saw him at Spice of Mom recently, I haven't seen him in ages. He said he was on his way to Aloha for some kind of urgent job, it seemed like he was in a hurry. Aloha. I wonder if that was anything to do with Luna who went missing in Aloha. It's gonna be okay. I know the Satala police will bring us safe and sound. I know how you feel, but I want you to leave this to the Adults. Yeah, that's how you say. But, but, what do you think you can do? You're just a boy. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean to yell, sweetie, but mommy's afraid. Afraid of losing you. I know that you're worried about Luna, and I know you how important she is to you. How important she is to all of her friends. Believe me. And... I know what all of you must be feeling, but if you went out there and something happened to you too, I, I don't know what I'd... Mom, okay. I'll leave to the Satella place, so don't worry. I'm just going out. I'll be back. Okay, be careful. Yeah. I'm sorry, Mom. Man, just emotional cutscenes up the wazoo. So, anyway... We need to head to Aloha. And, by the way, before all of you say, Is that how you pronounce Boreal? Yes, it, back when the anime happened in America, even though it didn't last that long. I remember only lasting up to, uh... Very little, actually. Episodes, actually, hold on, cutscene. Again. I was just here with Prez recently. Prez. Hey, Geo! 
This isn't the time to be depressed. Hurry up and turn into Mega Man and save me. Okay? Haha, <laughs> that's just like Prez. Alright, time to find Mr. Boreal. Wait a second. Is something wrong, Mega? Seems like we're being watched. Really? <laughs> you idiot, don't look for him. They'll see you at... Huh? I think they went away. I'm sorry, Mega. Come on, you need to be more cautious at times like this. You can't always be a goofy kid. I, I know, but... What? It's just I never expected you to yell at me to be more cautious. Hey, what does that mean? Um, let's go buck wild, kid! Anyway. N nothing, nothing at all. You should get going and find Mr. Boreal. Like, at first when I played, uh... Hey, don't think you can fool me. Hey, wait up, kid! But, like I was saying, in the first Mega Man game, I kept calling it a Mega Man Star Force game. Geo Store. No, Mega Man. Your power will be mine. I don't get that one. But in the very first Star Force game, I kept saying Boral or Boral. And then I saw the anime on Jetstream on Toonami.com, which. No, Toonami Jetstream. I forgot what it was called. The site was called, but, uh. Yeah, and then they cancelled it, and then I had to watch the uh, Japanese subtitles. All the way up to, uh, I watched it all the way up to, uh, I think, yeah, at the end of the second game, or the second season, what they did. Ah, there was th more than two seasons. So I split Star Force 1 up, and then they basically put two all together, so, yeah, three seasons. So here we have a bunch of metallic mail. Boreal! Mr. Boreal! Oh, Geo? And everyone else? We need to talk. Yes, I heard that Luna has gone missing. You've gone, gone so quite a pickle this time around. Yeah. That's why we came to talk to you, Mr. Boreal. If that may be Waza, or even you might be willing to help us out. I see. First, I think everyone should take a look at this. Strong? Wh why? But I saw him. Geo. I still haven't told you why I'm here, have I? I was requested by Waza to repair the environmental system. By Waza? During the repair process, I stumbled upon Strong, or what was left of him. He was torn to shreds, and his data was scattered all over the place. Because of what Joker did to him. So, then maybe Prez? I desperately searched for the rest of his data. And luckily, I was able to find it. In short, I managed to reconstruct Strong. I think it's the longest word I've that I've heard. Reconstruct means to put back together. Does that mean? Does that mean that you can put that you brought Strong back to life? That's amazing, Mr. Boreal. Isn't that great, Strong? Strong, Geo. I'm certain that I put him back to to his original self. He's not the same as he was before. There just wasn't enough data. Some data must have been destroyed while he was torn apart. What? Everyone listen. As far as I know, Luna and Strong were destroyed by the same weapon. If that's true, then Luna could be in the same state that Strong was. That is all I know at the moment. But Mr. Boreal, Strong came back to life. Yeah. Please put Buzz back together again. I'm sorry, everyone. I was able to bring Strong back to him because he's a program created by people. Because I was able to con compensate by for missing data with a new program. Even as a human being made of flesh and blood, there's nothing I can do. 
N no way. Th that can't be. I must have misheard him. There must be somewhere. There is nothing that I can do, but I think I may know of someone who can help. Dr. Goodall is the woman in charge of the Tower Police Science Department. She is recognized as one of the most brilliant scientists in the world. If anyone can help, it's her. Dr. Goodall from the Satala Police. We don't have time to We don't have a moment to lose. Let's go visit Dr. Goodall. But thank you, Mr. Boreal. Hey, Gio, I heard what happened. You should come into Satala Police Headquarters right away. The top people are willing to put... Help put all the energy to help finding Luna, to, to, bleh, to find Luna. Geo got was that passcode. This is the security gate passcode. A touch panel to input your code will pop up when you stand in the front gate. Please input the passcode to the touch panel once it has popped up. I'll send some officers to get you. Just wait there. See you soon. Teleplane's headquarters, huh? I guess it must be inside the National Waza HQ. The Satella police officers are going to come get us? Yeah. I said to wait for them. Geo! Yes, Mr. Boreal? Do you have a minute? There's something I've been wanting to ask you. What is it? It's about noise. Once you EM wave change into Mega Man, you should feel the effects of noise that is around you. Noise has been building up more and more each day. You haven't had anything strange happen? No problems at all? If anything bad should happen, I would feel responsible. I could never look your parents in the eye again. If you ever feel you've been feel a bit strange, you should stop. There's nothing to worry about, Mr. Boreal. Noise isn't a problem. Ace, the man I I just spoke to you gave me an anti-noise program to use. It's the tele the police most powerful program. It allows me to see how much noise is around me by showing me the noise level. Well, simply put, it's something that lets us control noise and gives us the ability to acquire illegal data. Isn't that sweet? <laughs> well, I suppose for now there's no reason to worry. I don't trust anything that comes from Dr. Goodall and the Satella Police. But Geo. I don't want to scare you, but there's a lot. We still don't know about noise. One theory claims that it accumulates inside of EM beam. Accumulates? So more and more builds up inside them? Yes. Right now, the, the, that program is helping, but problems could possibly arise from being around noise for too long. Please let's, please be careful. Don't overdo it, okay? Okay. I promise to be careful. Great. I just have one more thing I need to say. Sure, go ahead. Geo. There's always hope. As long as you never give up. Yeah. Mr. Boreal? I promise to never give up and never surrender. Sounds like a plan. Try your hardest. I'll do the best I can too. Okay. Geo. There was that people out here. Okay, thanks. Thanks again, Mr. Boria. Not a problem, Gio. I'm pretty worthless, aren't I? Strong. I couldn't do anything for them. I couldn't even help you. Darn it. It's here. National Waza HQ. This is the National Waza Headquarters. Is the Telepolis are stationed here? You see what I'm talking about with the cutscenes? I'm 20 minutes in and I didn't really get that much progress done. 
So, I'm gonna go in here and I'm supposed to input the password. I forgot the password. Okay, that's the password. Three, seven, four, five. Passcode conformed. Entrance granted. Welcome to National Waza HQ. It worked. That was easy enough. Took you long enough. Welcome to National Waza Headquarters. Ace, um, thanks for offering to help us out. There's no reason to thank me, Geo. I want to help. Hurry up and come on in. Ace. Yeah? Ah. Uh, ah, I'll be in trouble if I forget that. Okay then, everyone please listen up. There's a fingerprint confirmation system attached to the door. You would like to have you all register your fingerprints in order to make security. Once you're registered, your fingers will act as your proof as you of your identity. For fingerprint? Good confirmation? System? For well, now, just go up to the device and I'll explain the detail later. Oh my god, you wimps. There. That wasn't so bad, was it? <laughs> Everyone's done, eh? Now that you've been registered, you're all free to enter and leave Waza as you please. Just use your fingerprints to activate the gate. That's what I was trying to explain earlier. As we please? That's a pretty big deal for kids like us. Make sure to be very careful. There's a lot of very sensitive information within Waza. If we accidentally talked about any of the information outside, what what? What would happen? Would we be erased? No. I would just get in a ton of trouble for my boss. That's totally not cool. Anyway, let's head inside. Anti climatic is an ace. Ace is... Oh, he's a little strange, don't you think? Well, he's my kind of person, then. <laughs> Just a bit. Well, now. So that's acid, huh? Seems pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Ugh, what about him seems cool? One day we'll battle, and I'll make him understand how powerful I am. You haven't changed one bit. You know he's not a normal wizard, right? He's much more special. Kinda like how we are. You think I care? No wizard made by humans could be could possibly take me on. They're all scrubs. I see. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's funny. Welcome to the National Waza Headquarters. Upstairs until I was the Tower Police Headquarters. The elevator right will take you to the Waza's command system. That thing might be a while, so why don't you t talk to some of the people for once? I think you might even have some information on your phone. And we should get a pop up. So let's talk to him, Zach, okay. So what do we get help from Luna? Okay, we'll talk about that later. Uh, yeah, I've heard a lot. Do you understand how you feel, but it's been you know, antsy? Oh, I forgot they won't let us here. <gasps> Mr. Dubious! I'll talk about him later. Dude, okay, come in, sister. Oh, cool. Good to go upstairs. I'll talk to Mr. Dubious later. And you. Was that chief? Aren't you Geo Stellar? It just told me about you. Be sure to talk to all the members of the force. I can see the resemblance in your father, Kelvin. Do you think. Mega Man's true identity is his sign. Quite the irony of fate. Like I said, Waza, what the? Waza is stalkers to have this kind of information. The Mac Grimm is our main computer. To say that the supercomputer supports the entire nation behind the scenes is no overstatement. That's strange. The information board on the first floor seems to be on the fritz. Big monitor. Sweet, take a look. You get the sub card. Search high. I completely forgot that I was there, to be honest. You're amazed at the noise of all across the nation and analyze data sent from outer space. Hey, aren't you Geo? 
Yes, but how do you know who I am? I thought so. I used to work with your father. He was more like my boss. Every time you'd go out, he'd pull out your picture and proudly show it to everyone and say, This is my son! Really? Dad. Well, anyway, I thought you might want to use this. It's a photo that's proving to be very effective when fighting against Dila. I put it together myself. Jill got was our folder. Thank you very much. Let's take a look at this folder. Two plus cannons, some shark attacks, wide waves, mad fires, pollen shots, and drill arms, jet attack 2, flash... Flash strike, is that what's called? I can't tell. And recovery 80s! Holy crap! Putting this in the folder. Forget that, I'm putting this in the folder immediately. Now, uh, let's see. Get rid of that, get rid of that. I actually like some of the support cards, so. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Round wave screen. So we go all the way down. Here's yeah, so. a. Good. Everything's updated. So you send a counter Well, not personally, but he's well respected by everyone. That's on the. Country's greatest engineers. I didn't know that. No matter how much science and technology with the atomic to humans that make it, that make it all work. There's something this world can't be solved by computers. Incoming mail. I'm all ready now. Please come to the Satella Police Department. Actually, we hit 26 minutes, so I'm gonna do one more thing, and then that'll be the end of this video. I'm going to explain who this guy is. This is Mr. Tom Dubious, a former assistant to Mr. Boreal. He was a very lonesome person, you know, had all of his stuff, his uh, engineering and stuff to himself. He invented the flat pack, which is basically a backpack with wings that let him fly. Geo once saw it, and you know, he got nervous and backed away. But later, he was controlled and forced to battle by the Athamians. Uh, Swan, 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 shh. Oh crap, I forgot its name. Uh, I think it was Cyrus? Hold on. I often speak of Tom's behalf because he isn't very keen on... So, another duty of mine to help with this function. Oh my god, what's his name? Cyrus? I think it, No, that's not Cyrus. Mr. Dubious, I used, what are you doing here Why the the boy asked me, after all, he is my boss. Do you remember the time you had me like then? I used to live my constant state of mistrust of others. I was such a fool. Now it's been days with good boy and my friends. It's all thanks to you, Gia. Oh, uh, well, I didn't. By the way, Cygnus! I knew it started with a sigh. Cygnus, the FME that took control of me was reconstructed by my hunter, V. Gia, is now my wizard. What? Cygnus? I've even learned to wave change at my own will. My transcode is 020. I want to get stronger and use this power to, in order to help people. But I need to train. Will you battle me as Mega Man as part of my training? Uh, yeah. Okay, here he goes, Mr. Dubious. Don't go easy on me. This is what I like. Cygnus Ween was a very, not difficult, but you know, a very decent boss I like. Uh, Cygnus Wing, he has a non-element with moves. I'm not talking to him like he's Pokemon, but he has... Uh, Feather, uh, you, you'll see. Feather Shot is probably one of his most keen attacks. Also, he summons penguins, or ugly ducklings. That was his feather attack, by the way, to help. Ow. He also has, uh, where is it? His keen move, and actually just stopped from using it. It was ow. It's really hard to get him because he moves around quite fast, and that's, that's probably one of the most difficult things about him. I'm actually gonna cut his uh, area movement in half, well not in half, but just minimize it by using Area Eater and wait for him to get closer so I can actually be slap one, okay. So far so good, oh do I hit him, do I hit him? No I don't, crap. That's okay, I got invisible, so I'm, I'll be set up for a while. 
So he hasn't used this. I think it's called a swan dance or something like that. I can't remember off the top of my head. Basically, Cygnus does a little dance around the edge and onto your part of the field. Oh, here it comes. Yeah, that was a penguin support. I don't... a oh, penguin. I mean the duckling support. I don't... I, I don't remember the official names of all of the moves in this game, but, you know. Good. Heat up a cut one. Actually, Vulcan Seat is from the first game. I can't believe I just dodged that attack. Come on, stop it once again. Dang it. So fast, it's hard. Do that sort of thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and tackle him with this jet attack and I completely miss. And that's his swan dance. I'm gonna call it swan dance. Swan dive. Uh eh, might as well. You know, two jet attacks doesn't hurt. And I missed that one. There, I get him that time. Sweet. Now in boss passes bo boss battles like this, if you don't worry. Whoa. Actually, no, I don't want to use that. Actually, yes, I do. Screw it. Uh, I'll just take this hit. Uh. I forgot what I was saying there for a second. Uh, the Oh, yeah. Don't worry if you go noise level over 100% because in boss battles you will still get the battle card so we get yeah no terror blessing level we get Cygnus Wing it's basically his swan dance attack they don't call you Mega Man for nothing oh well, yeah and I'm gonna end it here so next time on let's play Mega Man Star Force 3 Black Ace we're gonna get more information on how to save Luna see you guys next time